Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I am going to get into a video on flight following. Now as far as things goes, in bigger airports you can request some type of flight following on ground. In the real world you can definitely do that. But um, it should be noted that when it comes to flight following, there is some things it can do, some things it can't do. One of the main advantages to flight following in the real world versus in game of Microsoft Flight Simulator is basically they know exactly where you are. This is a major advantage so if your plane goes down they at least have some freaking idea where you are. Uh, but when it comes to things, you uh, in the game, it, it there's some advantage to it. I hope, I, I have not seen it yet warn me about uh, storm systems. I have not seen it warn me about how to get around Class B, but I haven't really flown around too many Class Bs. But um, with that, in the rule rule, it does advise you around these type of things. So let's go ahead and request a flight following and show you how it works in game. Cherry Point Approach Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra is type Cessna 152 one miles west of Kilo Micromeo Hotel. Request flight following. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Cherry Point Approach. Clock 1574. So as we see here, we got a squat code and basically that is goes into our transponder. So if we take a look down here, we can say this one five, five, whatever. In fact, we're just gonna let it do its thing. Squawk one five seven four Cessna X ray Golf Sierra. Cessna X ray Golf Sierra radar contact two miles northwest of Kilo Mike Romeo Hotel, three hundred feet. Altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two. And what that does is it basically lets us put a thing in transponder so that we know that we're being uh, watched. Copy Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. And that message I gave us was letting us know that we're being watched how far away from the thing we are. But the important thing I find is this um, altimeter um, 2902. Um, basically, if you go to your altimeter and switch it to 292 two, or whatever they give you then it should give you the correct altitude that you currently are at. That is one of the biggest advantages I find within the game itself is as you switch locations you will go and find that it, it gives you that so you can easily make corrections because you could easily be a thousand feet above or a thousand feet below than what you really think you are otherwise. Now, in the real world, what did they do? So flight following, it, it's not a approval to go into uh, airspace. And same thing in the game, it's not approval to go into airspace. In the game, obviously you can do whatever you really want to do. But in the real world, uh, just because you got flight following, you need to go out of your way and just if, if we're going into like say class D airspace you need to call up the tower for class D and let them know that you're going into their airspace or um, and, and, and that way they give you permissions and all that stuff or you can do whatever they need to do so if they need you to hold or whatever you can do that to fall back in somewhere. That's fairly important to note because flight following simply does not give permission to go into these areas and also in the real world what happens when it comes to flight following is you're supposed to end flight following when you're about to land obviously you can end flight following at any point in the game it will just cancel it by itself and move on from there but the real world a lot of times what they will do is they'll ask if you got the airport and visual sites yes no and um, you know, you say yes, you can cancel it. If not, then they'll they'll recommend that you stay with the flight following. So that's there's some differences there. 
Um, in in the real world, if you're like going around like a certain airport or whatever, that's very busy. They might sell you to do something to stay away from the other planes because they're, they're they're watching all the planes and they can easily guide you around certain obstacles. So the, it's highly useful, but it should be noted that it's like a volunteer thing. Um, basically, in between when they're doing other things, they can deal with the flight following. Um, and that's the major reason why it's not a permission to go into certain airports with this, simply that they might not have the time to set it up. And I can guarantee you that would be the case for the most part. Now, as far as that goes uh, for in-game and also real world, when you request flight following, you um, can Sherry go ahead and cancel. Cessna X-Ray Golf Sierra cancel flight following. Cessna X-Ray Golf Sierra Cherry Point Approach cancellation received. Squawk O N E two zero zero. Frequency change approved. And we can request it again. Cherry Point Approach Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra is type Cessna 152 one miles northeast of Kilo Micromeo Hotel. Request flight following. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Cherry Point Approach. Clock 4164. And as you hear, it gives us a different squat number. took off for a second you um you basically can deal with the flight following as such in the game and it will help you get from one area to another to a certain point it'll help you with the altitude thing but it, the main thing with it is it does not have all the functionality as it would in the real world whereas the real world you get alerts about weather conditions ahead and stuff like that and I don't think that's in the game at all. I've, I've never have seen it, which it should definitely alert me a number of times. And then on top of that, I've, I've honestly never have seen it um, do certain things like advise me how to get around busy airports and stuff like that. Um, but again, I don't really fly around too many Class Bs. So that, that's more than less what flight falling is. I mean, in the real world, it, I highly recommend if you're if you're doing anything other than flying around a pole, um, you know, take off from your home base and land at the home base, just flying around a pole. If you're doing anything other than that, I highly recommend actually getting a flight following. Uh, when when you're flying in the real world, you'll know how to do that. But in game. It's useful sometimes. It's useful really when you're you're basically going and um, just trying to get the altitude stuff. That's really more than less when I use it um, because I, I don't really see too many other times, if, if any other time, that I find it actually useful other than just habit. But anyways, as far as that goes, um, if, if you got any questions or anything else, then feel free to leave that in the comment section. Leave like, subscribe, share, and I will see you next week. Hope you have a great day.